Yeah. 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 Quick question for Rolling Stone magazine, bizarre yes. enough. They, they've asked me to ask you because they're doing a 20th year anniversary of Nirvana's Nevermind. Ah. And they wanted to know what you think of that album and did it change your life when you heard it? Has it been that long? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was definitely one of the formative uh, uh, experiences for me, listening to Nirvana for the first time. I'm proud to say I was there before Nevermind. <laughs> I was there for Bleach. Old school. Uh, yeah, someone turned me on to that album, and I was just like, who are these guys that are changing music? Yeah, th- that was one of the times when it was like I had never heard anything like it before, and it was so compelling. It must have been similar to what it was like when people first heard Led Zeppelin or the mm. Beatles, you know. But um, I remember seeing them live in San Francisco. I don't remember the date, but I remember it was the night that Bill Graham had died. Oh, wow. So- and... They were so fucking good. And the thing that was amazing about them was not just them. They were compelling and in- incredibly charismatic. Mm. But also the crowd. The crowd was in a trance. Just undulating mass of pleasure. And everyone knew that that uh, this was a moment. That mm. they were witnessing, you know, a historical... Uh, musical experience and ever since then I know that it's it's the crowd that's just as important as as the band yeah. in making a show incredible because as good as Nirvana was if they were in front of a bunch of stiffs that would show have wouldn't have been so great yeah takes two to tango <laughs> cool thank you so much alright I got that one in the 